Hey, this is Kevin with Inventomark, and today I just have a quick tutorial for somebody on Reddit in the Unity 3D uh, subreddit that had a question on how to texture map an object in Unity from Blender. And I'm just going to make a real quick tutorial here to show you how to do that. And anyway, so you start off with just an open scene, and what you need to do is uh, basically you can just make a new window here. You just drag, click this little lines up here and drag a new window. Then you want to change this down here to UV image editor. And then you want to go back over to this window and make sure the object is selected. Press tab to enter edit mode or just go down here to go to edit mode. And then first thing you want to do is go into shading UV and select UV mapping unwrap smart UV project and just leave that on the default and it'll unwrap it over here and if you press A it'll select it all, A deselects it all, just repeat that and so we have that selected now you can go back over here to this window press tab to get out of edit mode and that disappears but if we go into texture paint down here it goes into texture paint mode and the UV map shows up over here but right here what we need to do is create a texture for the object so we want to typically just diffuse color and depending on what resolution your textures are going to be in the game that you're working on it's either going to be 1024 or 2048 it really doesn't matter it just has to be the same number so that it's a square texture and so we have that there now and we can pretty much uh, texture paint whatever we want but we can also create a new basically a new well actually no we just created that there so we can you just go down here and select the texture that you created over here because it actually made a new file so now we can paint this object however we want there's different types of brushes you can use uh, you can select the color you can even add textures if you want, and that's more complicated, but I can get into that later if you want to do that. But you just, you can scroll and you can see paint in here. And there's another way you can actually even paint in there, but you can just paint the object. Whatever color you want, and you can actually, easiest way to paint it so that you don't get overspray on the corners and edges is just to go into orthographic mode with 1, 3, or 9, or 7. Or hold control 1, 2, 3, or 7. That'll do all six sides. It just goes to the basically the direct mode. And if you hit 5, it goes from perspective to orthographic. And so you can paint that side one color change it go to another color change it go to the opposite color change it and go to the top view change that and go to the bottom view just make that black or gray and so basically that's uh just texture painting is just really simple and to change the brush size you just press F and drag the cursor and it changes the size of the thing so if you're you can scroll in and out with the scroll wheel if you hit F and say you zoom in really far and click it's a, the brush actually is dependent on how far you're zoomed in or where it's at you can use that way to change the size or you can do that so I'm actually going to show you how also how to do normal maps with Blender as well here. So basically, what you want to do is just, you can create texturing in normal maps. I'm just giving an example here. You can actually just paint whatever way you want. I'm just doing a contrast color so that you get more depth with the normal map
Okay, so we, anyway, so what we do is we go over here and click on the texture. And you click on the texture there. And so we want that to be all where it's at. You can actually change that to UV map. But over here you have options that has normal map. And you can turn it up just a little bit. Depends on how much you want the normal map to be. And so I'm going to leave it at that. And so what we want to do now is click on the camera option. Down on the bottom here it has options that says bake. So what you want to do is first we want to just do the texture. And so Okay, what did it do? Oh, so we want to create a new texture. Make sure that's selected. Okay, you have to make sure that the object's in edit mode over here. And then go to the object. And then you can bake it. It'll bake the... Basically, it'll bake the texture map according to the UV map on the object here. So this has to be in edit mode, and this has to be selected on the file you want to make. And so what you do now is just image, save as image. And I'm just going to go to here and save it wherever you want on the computer. Just remember where you put it. So I'm just going to name it name, main texture. And so that save that to an actual object or texture and so what we want to do is change this to normals now and this will bake the normals onto this here so now we have a normal map of our object and you do the same things basically save image or save as image and I just usually use the same name and add normals at the end and so that's pretty much put it for or that's pretty much it for all you need to do to get a textured object in to unity but so what we need to do is you can just basically actually no we need to save the cube so go ahead and just file save we're just basically saving the cube and so I'm just going to save it in the tutorials just put So I'm just going to save that, and so that's saved now. So I will open Unity, and open my files here, and so I just like to drag it in, it's the easiest thing, and just go to where the blend file is that we just saved, drag it in there, copies it in there then these two copies those in there and so we have all that in there and we can basically drag the cube out there now and then for the shader you just want to change that to I just like using the legacy ones that's from what I haven't used the unity for quite a while now but you just change the shader to a bump diffuse and put the main texture on the main one and then the normal map on there and it changes it so that the object is basically just how you paint it in Blender but actually has it in 3D you can see there's kinda raised, raised and lowered ob edges on there now because of the normal map but this works for pretty much any shape or size object you want to do because the blender will actually make a uh, normal map really easy so you can pretty much make whatever texture you want and do that there's other couple of other cool programs that I use there's one called insane bump or something like that it's uh, kind of an older one it's hasn't been developed for a while but I've used that and it works pretty well but anyway that's just a quick and simple way to texture map in Blender so you can use it in Unity
This also works for pretty much any other gaming thing too, but that's basically a simple demonstration for that. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good day.